Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and I have another When Men Stop Simping um, TikTok comedy, so let's go ahead and take a look. Hey, I'm sorry, I never do stuff like this, but I noticed you from over there and I thought you were really pretty, so I was just wondering if you want to maybe grab a coffee or something sometime. Yeah, I, I can't. Oh, you have a boyfriend? No, I'm just not interested. Sorry. <laughs> okay, bitch. You're not even that hot anyway. You know what? You're right. Excuse me? You're right. I'm really not that hot anyway. I mean, who was I to reject a great guy like you? We should go out. Oh. I, I guess I don't know what to say. That line has never worked for me before. Well, just say yes. Uh, I don't know. This doesn't feel right. You're clearly way too hot for me. But you just said I wasn't hot. Nah, see, that was just a coping mechanism to deal with the rejection. I never even expected to be in this situation. Well, just give me a chance. Please. No. No, please, just give me a chance. I'll do anything for you. Please, just give me a chance. Come on. Oh. Give me a chance. So I thought this video was funny because, you know, this is the notion that a lot of men in the red pill community, okay, this is not common knowledge, guys. There are guys, obviously, we know there are still massive simps out there. Um, but a lot of guys do not understand going up asking nicely, hey, can we go out on a date? It's you're a nice guy. She doesn't want to be with a nice guy. She's had plenty of nice guys come her direction, but in, 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 and she knows that doesn't tickle her. It doesn't get her moist. It doesn't, it's not what she's actually looking for. But so often we hear constantly, you know, you know, women want a man, women want a man who respects them and is just so kind and treats them with, you know, and, and is, takes them on elaborate dates and does this, that, and the other. Listen, if she's not into you, she's not into you. But a way to completely kill all interest is to approach a woman like he first did. Now, obviously they did this for effect, for comedy. So you don't want to be like that. A lot of guys, you know, what they're missing is, is not being a player, but lacking charisma. And this is why you need to learn charisma. Charisma on Command is a great channel that kind of teaches that and teaches you how to talk to people, how to talk to women in the right way that actually raises attraction. Maybe I should do some videos on this, maybe dissect some situations, or I'll just come up with some lists that will be helpful because, you know, we've been sold a lie, men and women, women were raised to want this Prince Charming who does everything for you. He's going to slay dragons for you. He's going to, um, you know, uh, you know, jump off a cliff for you. With It takes the chivalrous part that men are. That a lot of men, you know, they will, they will fight for a woman. They will kill for a woman. They will die for a woman. But they've taken that notion and applied it to modern, to dating. And that is what attracts a woman. No, if you're in a relationship and she, and, and you're fighting for your woman, that's different. But just, you know, this notion that we're attracted, we're not. And it confuses even a lot of young women because they think um, the only time they really see that alpha presence in a man is in a player or bad boy. So it's taking um, what is a good quality of a man being an alpha. First of all, they try to raise that out of a man, beat it out of a man, um, shame a man and from, to, from being an alpha, that he needs to be a pandering simp in order to, you know, to please women. A lot of men are raised to please women, do what women want, do what women say, treat them with all this respect. But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it, it does nothing but put you in the friend zone. But you see, as soon as the tables turn and he comes to her you, talking sideways and he's just like, oh, you know, you're not that attractive anyway. And, and, and all these like he the second is she hears something like that is like, huh, because this is what it does. A lot of women, don't, a lot of men don't understand thinking, OK, if he doesn't think I'm an attractive, then he must really get or he's not really simping over me. I, he, I can come and go. He's not really pressed over me like that. It raises her attraction because she thinks that you can get a lot of women, that you're used to attractive women, that you you um, you're not really sweating another one. So it makes her think, you know, you're pre-selected. It actually is a way to do pre-selection so a woman feels like other women have chosen him. He obviously has options. Women are attracted to men with options. We're not attracted to the guy that can't get anybody. And this is why I tell guys, if you want to get a higher quality woman, number one thing I talk about is fitness. You need to be in the gym. Get in shape. Get your body to the best you can get. It doesn't mean you need to be, you know... Uh, super ripped. That's a lot of women aren't even into that, but get building muscle mass, 
um, you know, building out your frame, that's the number one thing I can say that will raise, you know, your attraction uh, level in women. And then the next thing I would say is just having a purpose, building, building something. Women are attracted to men who are builders, men who have a purpose, men who are doing something with their life. They want a program they can get on. But see, if you're too scared, you're too scared to speak out, you're too scared to adjust because then I won't get anyone. Well, you ain't getting no women now. So, you, you know what I'm saying? Like so many, you know, and, and they've lied to you and they've it made you think this way. And you may be mad at all women or feel like women aren't ish and this, that and the other. But the person you got to be mad at, at how you were raised, what you were taught. It was wrong. We all were taught something wrong growing up. A lot of girls were raised up to think they're princesses and that, you know, only, only way a man could be uh, good to you is if he acts, you know, like you see in the movies, the princes in the movies. Or that if he doesn't treat you like that, then it's not good. But then we grow up and we're just like, okay, I'm not really attracted to guys that are all in my face and sweating me. Because then I know, you know, this is the other thing. A woman thinks that she can just get away with anything. If you're that pressed for her, then you don't have options. You, She knows you're not going anywhere. And it makes it so like she doesn't have to win you over. This is how you as a man make yourself a prize. Okay, you become a prize by demonstrating through who you are that you that you have options. Women are attracted to that. Even if you don't have a you're not a giga chad, you're not super tall. I'm telling you, there's guys. I mean, I, 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 there's guys who have a presence. They're, they're short, um, generally in shape because I do, most women want a man in shape if they're in shape. But a guy who's short, a guy who, you know, is not some perfect giga chad in the face. But he's got that swag, he's got a presence, he's not pressed. And it's not that he's standoffish or he's mean or he's rude or he's being gross about things. But he's he has that charisma, that charm that this is like, you know, he knows how to talk to a woman. And this is why I encourage a lot of men, if you have not tried it, try it out. See how it works for you. But for sure, ladies, let's be honest. You know, we nice guys will continue to finish last because we don't want a nice guy. We want to use a nice guy um, for, you know, so we can get away with whatever we want. But the guy that we, uh, you know, a lot of times nice guys get cheated on by guys who are alpha or guys that kind of have that bad boy um, image. But I'm not saying alpha is a bad boy. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I think it's a it's a version of an alpha. And a lot of times they aren't really alpha. They're just kind of, we'll, we can get into that in another discussion. But I thought this was a good video. Guys, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.